it's Lauren and I'm here again today with my lovely assistant Gabrielle and we're going to create borax crystals. With just some borax and water you can create your own personalized crystals. You could create Christmas ornaments or make gifts for your friends, but overall they're just really cool to look at. Unless you eat or inhale an entire box of borax, you shouldn't have any issues. If you're still worried, you can always wear gloves and goggles. It may even make the experiment more fun. What we're going to need is sodium borate or borax, something to suspend your pipe cleaner. As long as whatever you choose can rest on the mouth of your container, it should work. Pipe cleaners of any color, string, and hot water. If the water isn't hot enough, your borax won't dissolve properly, so we suggest using a teapot. First, we're going to have to create our super saturated solution. A super saturated solution is a solution that contains more of the dissolved material, which is the borax, than can be dissolved by the solvent, which is the water, under normal circumstances. Well, she is right. Basically, in a super saturated solution, there's so much borax in the water that it can't hold it anymore. To start the solution, you should first put your teapot on the stove and get that water nice and hot. Since our water took a few minutes to boil, we use that time to shape our pipe cleaners. It may take a few tries, but don't worry, you'll get there. Once you have your general shape down, make sure to leave a little tail at the end so we can tie the string around it. Next, tie your shape to your flat object. Once done, your water should be hot enough to add the borax. Stir in the borax carefully and one spoon at a time. Depending on the container you use, you may need more or less water. Just remember that for every one cup of water you use, you need three tablespoons of borax. We used three cups of water, so we needed nine tablespoons of borax. It's okay if some borax settles to the bottom. Test out the length of the string to see if the shape fits in your container. You don't want the shape to touch the sides or the bottom of the container. This is by far the hardest step, but it is rather important. The longer you leave the pipe cleaner in the solution, the more crystals you'll grow. If you use any of your normal kitchen supplies, just make sure to wash them out thoroughly. And that's all you need to make borax crystals. Bye guys, see you next time.